hello from Farland. I want to put another crossover like that one down there, except coming this way. So well, that's what I'm working on today. And I'll sort of take you through it, or parts of it. Things are kind of a shambles right now because I'm working on so many different things all at the same time. That building doesn't go there. I'm not sure where it goes yet. It doesn't go there though. So, I've got to go in there and I've got to uh, cut the track. Okay, well, I, I came underneath the board now, and I've got this piece roughed in as far as the length that needs to be the join between the two, but I need to know exactly where I'm going to cut this. I've determined that here and over here are clear of any cross members, so it will work, work pretty well. So I'll get to work on this and uh, cut these in and I'll be back to you. Well, you might be interested in seeing what happens after you've glued down with uh, a foam tack when you've glued your rail down to this. I'm taking the rest of this piece out. comes out pretty clean. So that can all be reused. That's a good thing. So the holes are made at both ends and I put the fish plates at this end and I push them all the way in. So this will be the last connection when I put it all together. While I'm waiting for the glue to dry, I thought I'd show you this. This is the plan for the controls. Pretty simple. An indicator to tell you that the crossover has been thrown. And I'll probably add a red pilot light to tell me that uh, there's power to the controls. Well, they're both in now. So next I'm going to prepare the tortoise motors and when the mail comes in tomorrow or Wednesday I should be able to finish the control panels. So by um, sometime Thursday they will be completely operable. I'm seriously considering putting a crossover over here too. You can see where we are. That's the scenic break between the beach area and this big uh, banked curve. I think I could get one in there. I'd like to have one going the other way as well, but uh, I haven't found a place for it that uh, is practical, level, and would work. But opportunity could come along. There are places to put it. They're just hard to get to. Can't put it there because it's an incline. Oops, bumped into something. But I could put it over here. I could get to it right there and have one go in the other way. I'm going to consider it. Preparing the tortoise motor is all exactly the same. In fact, they're the same all over the layout. Consistency in wiring can sometimes turn out to be a valuable asset when you're troubleshooting. So all four are in. Tortoise motors are in, tortoise motors are wired over to a terminal block where the controls are going to be. I don't have the controls yet. Hopefully they're going to come tomorrow. Here's another one. Number 11. 
and there's uh, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Thirteen, and there's fourteen down there. They're all ready to go except for controls. I have not wired the um, the wires that go from the tortoise motor to the uh, track circuit yet. I know that this one is correct. These two, eleven and twelve, but I can't read. I'm getting no reading on these two which tells me that the point motors need to be worked back and forth a while to limber up the uh, contacts I'm using so that uh, I can tell. I think those contacts are stuck in the middle somewhere. But tomorrow the controls come and I will be able to build the finish the control box and mount it, wire it in and once I'm satisfied everything's working I will cut the little piano wires but I'm not going to cut those until I'm certain that uh, it's all good. I'll be back to you soon with the, uh, with the completion of this project. Bye from Farland.